All right, so in this video here, we're gonna be going over two examples that show different ways of representing relationships in math. So it's gonna be the words, equations, tables, and graphs. So here we go. So for this example here, this equation here, V equals negative three C plus 55 is showing the amount of vegetable oil remaining after baking C number of cakes. So specifically, C represents the number of cakes that Omar has baked, and V, this variable here, represents the amount of vegetable oil remaining. Now in this case here, it can be ounces or cups or whatever, but it's just the amount remaining. All right, so now we're going to take our equation that relates number of cakes to the amount of vegetable oil, and we're going to fill out this chart here. So right here, this is talking about number of cakes, 10, 11, 12, and 13. And this column here is talking about vegetable oil remaining for 10 cakes, 11 cakes, 12 cakes, and 13 cakes. So the way we can calculate these is we use this value here for the C for cakes, and that's going to give us the value for vegetable oil. So here we go. So we're going to replace the C for 10 goes there. And now we do order of operations for the amount of vegetable oil in this blank here. So negative three times 10, that's going to make negative 30. And then we still add 55 and that's going to make 25. Now for this blank here, that's talking about 11 cakes. So same procedure, except instead of a 10 for 10 cakes, we're gonna do 11 for 11 cakes goes there. Order of operations, negative three times 11 is negative 33, plus 55 makes 22. Next up for 12 cakes, to find the amount of vegetable oil remaining, we're gonna replace the, the 10 or the 11 with a 12 or the C with a 12. And then negative three times 12 is 36 plus 55 makes 19. And then for the 13 cakes, the amount of vegetable oil there, we can use our equation, replace the C for cakes with a 13, multiply first negative three times 13. So now we're gonna do subtract 39 from 55 and that gives us 16. And this is just another way of representing the number of cakes versus vegetable oil. We have it on a table with actual number examples. So we can also make a graph of these. Now, if you know the shortcut for graphing, you can totally do that too. However, with this, it's gonna be a little bit tricky. So we're just gonna use our values in the table here for 10, 11, 12, and 13 cups. Okay, so for this one here, that's gonna be a 10 on the C and that's the, the C axis is gonna be here. It's the X axis, it's always X, Y or independent, dependent or horizontal and vertical. So anyhow, here we go. So that's gonna be a 10, 25. So we're gonna find 10 on our horizontal axis. There it is. And then 25 on the vertical axis. That stands for the, the cups of vegetable oil remaining. And so right where those intersect, that's the coordinate point, the ordered pair, 10, 25. So we can put a dot there. And now next up, we're gonna do 11, 22. So 11 right between the 10 and the 12 and 22 right there. And then next one, 12 and 19, 12 for the C and 19 for the V right there. And then we have a 13, 16, last one here, right between 12 and 14, and then right on the 16 there. So there's the graph there. So as you can see, we've done three different ways of representing this number of cakes baked versus oil remaining. We've done it as a equation, we've done it as a table, and we can also show it on the graph. So all three of these is all saying the same story. So here we go. Suppose you are in a submarine 45 feet below the surface of the water. You are ascending at a rate of 10 feet per minute. So ascending means going up. Okay, so we're gonna write an equation to model this situation. Okay, we do need to pick variables. So we're gonna use Y for depth, 
and X for minutes. So you could use D for depth and M for minutes, or a lot of people will use a T because it stands for time in minutes. Um, but in this case here, we're just gonna use X and Y. So we have our depth equals, Y equals, our depth equals. So remember that under the water is negative, okay? So in this case here, we're starting 45 feet below the surface of the water, so that's gonna be a negative 45. Now, we are gonna write this in slope intercept form. It's a, may not have learned it yet, but that's the form we're gonna go with. And then we are ascending at 10 feet per minute. So that's gonna be a 10 feet per minute. And remember, minutes was X, so 10 feet per minute there. So this is a way of summarizing the scenario that we are dealing with. So Y, that's gonna be depth. And remember, X is minutes, so we have our depth is we're ascending, we're going up 10 feet per X's minutes, starting below the water at 45 feet, okay? So these equations summarize our story up here, or scenario. Now we're gonna take our equation and we're gonna use it to complete a table. So you can go straight off the story if you want, starts at 45 below the surface of the water, ascends 10 feet per minute, or you can use the equation. So for this example here, we're just going to use the equation. Okay. So when we do these on our paper, just remember, normally we do a T chart. We don't make all these boxes all over the place here. So if you're copying this down on your paper, um, just make a T there, minutes go there, depth goes there, zero, one, two, three goes on the lines. So for this blank right here, we're going to replace the, the M with the minutes, which is X in this case here, with the number zero. So, and this is our start amount. We should already know this by heart because we started 45 feet below the water. So at zero minutes, we should be at 45 feet below the water. Uh, but if we are doing this using our equation, it looks like this. So here we go. So we do order of operation, 10 times zero makes zero. And then minus 45 is still 45 feet below the water or negative 45. So for one, so it's going to be, we're gonna replace the, the one in for the X and now we'll do order of operations. 10 times one is 10 and then minus 45 makes 35 feet below the surface of the water. And then for the two, I'm gonna replace it with a two there. 10 times two is 20 minus 45 goes negative 25. And then the three goes in and then 30 minus 45 makes a negative 15. So again, if you're using the story, this is your start amount here. Zero is start amount. We started under the water, 45 feet, and then we're gonna go up 10 feet per minute. So up 10, up 10, up 10. And so you can just add tens if you want to here, assuming these go up by one minute because it's per one minute for the rate. All right, so now we're gonna graph this line and there's several different ways of doing it by this point here. You can use the story, starts at negative 45, goes up 10 for every minute. Or you can use the equation here if you know how to read that and put it straight onto a graph there. It is in slope intercept form. You can look that up if you want to. Uh, we can also use two of the points from our table. So the reason why we only need two, it's a straight line. So for a straight line, you only need two of the points. So here we go. So these are our X's. So that's going to be on this axis here. And these are our Y's. So that's going to be this axis here, right? X's and Y's. X is minutes. That's the horizontal. Um, and then your left column is always the horizontal axis. And your right hand column is always the vertical axis. So anyhow, here we go. So zero, negative 45. So looking along here, there's zero. And then negative 45 is going to be right there. Next point we can use is a one and a negative 35. So there's one, go down to negative 35 and it's right there, boom. So from this point in, in the question now, we can go ahead and draw our line. So, because we only need two points to make a straight line. So we could add it into the line or into our graph here if we wanted to. We could go the two and the negative 25, two and negative 25, that would be right there. And then the three, negative 15, that would be three and negative 15 right there. We only needed two. Now, again, you can use this or you can make the graph just by looking at the story as well. Remember, we started where? 45 feet below the surface of the water right there. And then the rate was 10 feet per minute. So you go up for 10 feet, go up 10 feet. So that's going to be 
two squares because these go by fives. The, the Y scale is five. So we're going to go up 10 and one minute goes right to there. So a couple of different ways of doing the same thing. Okay, so now we have the story that we started with. We have an equation that summarizes that story. We have a table that also goes through a lot of the numbers that we would see from our story. And then the graph here also tells the same story. Starts at negative 40, goes 10 feet in one minute, 10 feet, one minute, 10 feet, one minute. So they all tell the same story. 